Now, let's see who this cicada monster really is. Goodness, why would you do all these horrible things? Naughty boy. I'm afraid we're dealing with something even more sinister and untrustworthy than a politician. If there is such a thing. Say, Muriel, I've got one for you. When is a mayor not a mayor? Oh, I, I don't think I know that one. Then let me show you. <gasps> and they are... Yeah, like who are these weird dudes? It's Cats and the Quack. Remember? From the museum display? Oh! Right. <gasps> They were operating the mayor costume, and they were the real villains behind all of this. I'm Katz, mastermind and evil genius. And I am the Quack, world-renowned thief of the most highest skill. I had my suspicions, but to be honest, a lot of the clues don't make sense. If you would allow me to explain how it all happened, it would be my greatest of pleasures. When I, Cats, discovered... No, no, no. When I, Le Quack, discovered... <sighs> when we discovered that there was a dark matter meteor of intense power buried somewhere here under nowhere, we joined forces and worked to get ourselves elected as the mayor. This gave us the access to all the records of the town, allowing us to locate the right spot to dig. The power of the dark matter meteor has been affecting everything in nowhere for millions of years. Oh, oui, oui. And it is the exact center of a map of documented weirdness that only seems to affect nowhere. It is all because of the meteor. <gasps> we knew the dark matter meteor held unlimited power. And once we found it, we harnessed that power to get rich. We oui, oui. <laughs> we made all those silly rich peoples bring their wealth to the farmhouse, which we planned on the collecting of later. But when the gang of mystery-solving teens arrived, we needed to up our game. We found the meteor had different effects by adjusting the modulations. When it spins, it emits a frequency that makes people very open to suggestion. It also affects animals in different ways. It enabled us to control the giant cicadas to keep you all out of our business. Sadly, it did not work so well as we hoped. Yes, indeed. We were so close. <laughs> we would have been rich! Rich! And we would have gotten away with it, too, if it wasn't for you meddling... Oh, right there! Oh, Anything you do or say can be used against you in a court of law. Or a basketball court, racquetball court, food court. Take your pick. And you are... Right, right. Sorry. <laughs> That's better. The costume was a bit steamy. <gasps> I am the general, and this is the lieutenant. Right, right. Exactly. We are very grateful to you kooky mystery-solving teenagers and these two brave dogs for stopping the nefarious plan of these dastardly criminals. Fine, fine. May I continue? Right, right. Please do. And we would have gotten away with it, too, if it weren't for you... Ow! 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 Uh, I don't understand. What is happening? <laughs> on there. Oh, it's so realistic. That is because I can assure you, mystery-solving kooks, that this is indeed my very own face. <laughs> yeah, right, buddy. Yeah. Nobody's got a face like that. What kind of glue did you use? And how do you make that duck puppet move and talk like that? I hasn't been called a puppet. I am Le Quack, world-famous thief. And I, Cats, genius and mastermind. And we would have gotten away with it, too, if it weren't for you annoying meddling teenagers. 